Shit, what's this podcast called? Discourse of Human Events. The, the discourse is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Everything's okay, I'm just trying to act my age. Yeah, I wanna know. One, two, three, flashlight! Flashlight! Your oh, mom hasn't learned to do the last right? flashlight of the year. <laughs> I have never done one. It's my tradition. I know. <laughs> I'm not going to stop that gravy train now. <laughs> it's so popular. Maybe. Hey, your kid's going to start repeating flashlight? Maybe. Is, is this your worry? I have oh, had to stop, like, you know, start watching my words because they repeat everything. Mm -hmm. I A lot of times uh -huh. I think they're cursing, but they're not. Like, shit, shit, what? I want to shit there. <laughs> oh, you want to sit there? Okay, <laughs> let me put you there. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're like, yeah, I, I would like to shit there, too. <laughs> <laughs> I just drop for hours. I really gotta going. go. Stop yourself from agreeing with them. Oh, yeah, um, I okay. keep thinking, like, oh, man, did they hear me say that? <laughs> you once said, oh, shit, before. That I said it around them? No, I don't know when he learned that word, but... I think... The thing is to just, like, act like you didn't say anything when they say it. Or, like, you know, don't make a big deal out of it so they don't, don't care. realize. I can get a reaction if I say this. Gotcha. Right, right. So I try That's to always ignore key. it. Yeah. Anyways, not that has anything to do with the year in review. <laughs> uh, All so, right. Yeah. So do you want to do our review of our predictions from last year? Or is that all the way at the end? We should do the, yeah, we should do all the prediction stuff at the end, right? Okay, like, but I mean, how did we our last year and then our new predictions, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, that sounds good. All, All right. right. Let's begin. So, the first thing on the 2023 list is Kevin McCarthy, uh, House of Representatives. Okay, yeah, shit. Uh, I had to think who that was. Speaker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he's yeah, no that's... longer Speaker already. Right. Yeah, Which, and then it you was. Know, happened later, obviously. Oh, he's the. <laughs> uh... I was trying to remember what all happened. So he's the um, he's sort of a moderate, right? And the far right Trumpists were like, "You mm. got to give us this, 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 this. You got to go blow this guy from Alabama in the back." <laughs> and he's like, "Okay, but I don't have to look him in the eye when I do it." <laughs> then eventually, they agreed, right? I mean, right. it was something like that they were demand like, and then if they, and then I think part of it was they could drop him at any time, which is why he's no longer there. Which shocker? Yeah. Hey, you're foreshadowing here. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, he gave. Hey, a bunch spoiler of alert. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I yeah, that was. It, those stories always seem like something at the time, and then like I, I you said that name was like that's familiar. Who's that? Right. I mean, it <laughs> is interesting that he did later on lose. And I don't it, know right? who it is now. Is it a? I remember now it being a big I have no idea over who it was, but it That's was gonna be. It was going it to maybe either. be a guy from from not just Ohio, from our our hometown district, from like Richland. He was really? in the running to be the speaker, but he, I don't think he made it. Uh, That's crazy. Yeah, because guess what? It's the Trumpist kind of pulling it, and he is a pretty big uh, Trumpist. Is it? Well, you know, Maybe Richland Mike County Johnson? had no. a lot of Trumpers. So it's a guy from Louisiana. So what's our guy? Or Richland? I'm curious County, where from Ohio. Richland he's from. Richland County, Ohio. At, at Richland, I mean, hmm? it's not just Shelby, but he does represent Shelby too. Uh, That's why I said I wonder where from Richland he's from. What the fuck is the Richland? Uh, Congressman Troy Balderson. If you look him up, does it give him his like hometown? It's gonna only no. Okay, it's not a perfect. Let's okay. Let's do Shelby, Ohio. Why are you doing Shelby, Ohio? Because I don't think it perfectly covers Richmond. 
Mike Carey. Oh, like his district? Yeah, because uh, Richland is different than the guy that covers... Because they rewrite districts. Yeah, uh, they're, they're all the weird. Gerrymandering. Mike. All right, well, that's interesting. I didn't know Sabina, Ohio, Sabina, Ohio something, but... is where he's from. I don't know. What where was it? it? Sabina. Sabina? Never heard of it. Yeah. It's in Richland? No, I don't think so. I just think he represents... Oh, he just got elected. I don't know. Maybe my Google foo is bad, but I think that's... You're fired. The guy. I don't know, but I do remember seeing one of the big guys in the running represented our Shelby. Richland. Uh, Like, not Richland, Shelby and parts of Richland and... Oh, Like, it's all such a weird carved up district, right? Right, right, But I was like, okay, he does represent Shelby. (laughs) That's crazy. Doesn't surprise me though, you know, with yeah. Trump being. That's what I looked. It was, he was the most conservative, like the most Trumpist one. He was their candidate. Yeah, shocker! Somebody like, that oh, represents hey. Shelby in Richland County. Yeah, it's like that's weird. So, anyway, right, well, we got a lot more news stories. So, okay, let's move on. Next one. All right. Not There's nothing not. else in January. So nothing happened about... in January. Nothing. February third, though, is the East Palestine. Uh, Train derailment. Oh, shit. I can't believe that's only been this year. Right? That's what I said when I was like, oh, shit, that was this year? That, like, fell off so quick considering how, like, I don't know, big of a story it seemed to be, right? And I I got something for you, Nick. I got something for you. Wait, wait, hold on. Chloe doesn't even remember what the fuck we're talking about, even though we talked about it on a podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was a train derailment in Ohio, and then there was it was like chemicals spilled over, and they had no, to abandon no, it. Yeah, no, chemicals. People had yeah. to be evacuated. Yeah, yeah it's and they were trying to stay safe. Yeah, to live there. Uh, do you guys may have cancer now. <laughs> I don't know. Or we're something. far enough away, I think, from that area. Yeah, that's oh, what they. Yeah. No matter was, what like, would like, happen, they would tell you that. You were in if you're gonna yeah, have, if you're in Cleveland, it's probably bad. If you were gonna have mutant babies, they'd still be like, "Yeah, I don't know why. Don't see <laughs> us. <laughs> just a oh, co- that's weird. Just a coincidence. Wow, why are the why are the cancer rates like fifty percent higher in this area? <laughs> we'll never know. You can't prove that. Uh, I just think it's interesting, Nick, that mm-hmm. Palestine comes up twice in the year. Two different Palestines, but <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> it so, will come up again. Is that what you had for me? Spoiler that alert. I you with for? <laughs> also, very weird that there's a place in Ohio called East Palestine. I feel yeah, like that was the real weird, news story. Because we also have we have Cairo, don't we? And we have, uh, or we have, um, yeah. But I've heard of Cairo. I haven't the, heard of East no, Palestine. But we also have. Uh, I forget which state it is. Medina. Like Medina. Yeah. I think. Medina. Yeah. I think we just have weird. We there's a Miami. Yeah, yeah, well, that's weird. That. That's kind of but there's lot. ones named after international cities, which is always weird. Like, yeah, cities in Ohio named. I'm from Paris, Ohio. After European, or <laughs> I'm just gonna say international. We have, we have a at a, a Athens. We know Dublin, London, oh, yeah, Sai, Athens, Manchester, Oxford, Lima. Let me just international cities. Mean I mean, it makes sense. We mm-hmm. had foreigners basically that named everywhere. Travel the world without ever leaving Ohio. <laughs> yeah, we've got Cairo, like they said. Milan, there's a Milan. Oh my god. We've got a lot. Lisbon. Can't wait to go to Milan. There's an Amsterdam in Ohio? <laughs> there's an Amsterdam. Not even new. <laughs> there's a new Paris? We got the old version of Amsterdam. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Speaking of Milan... Interesting segue. Uh-huh. The day after the East Palestine derailment was the China spy balloon was shot down. Oh, oh nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another thing I forgot balloon. about. Excuse me. <laughs> it's so petty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck your balloons. Not in this gotcha. house. Chloe, get petty. your balloons out. <laughs> Buy a drone. Get them out. What the hell's wrong with you with balloons? <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn you know, cheap like, it is. <laughs> oh my god, if you guys ever get balloons for the kids, like, <laughs> budget cuts. Shoot them down. They have like, uh, what are they? Uh, like dirigibles, right? Like, you know, uh, like the Hindenburg. They're what? And it's li- uh-huh. like by a guy pedaling a bike. <laughs> Just because it's cheaper <laughs> to buy than an engine, right? They have some Chinese guys sitting up there. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Terrible. 
So that was an interesting month, you know, a couple of news stories in February, one after the other, too. Mm. Yeah. Then March 12th, the actual worst disaster for me of uh -huh. all of 2023 happened. Okay. And that's where when the Silicon go? Valley Bank happened, where he got indicted and everything. Uh -huh. And my favorite game went away because of it. What well, your favorite game? Yes. Huh? So, what's the guy from Silicon Valley Bank? Um, uh, you mean Friedman or whatever? He, that, he's not the guy. No, he's yeah, the that's, one from FTX. that's yeah, that's not exactly the same thing. He's from FTX. Well, oh, that's Silicon oh, Valley that's Bank. right. But this is what started that, right? This, it this was bank went the, down. I think they're somehow related, but yeah, I think his Bam his went down free. later. But yeah, but what about it? Yes, this this was what like the game start is of it? it. Well, uh. Bankman was, he bought, through FTX, he bought my favorite video game storybook, Brawl. Uh -huh. And since he bought it through FTX, when that all went down, the game had to shut down because they, like, no longer had funding. And it was tied up in the bankruptcy and all the, like, lawsuits with it. So, yeah, like, you literally just can't no one, play it No anymore? one can buy it, or buy the rights to the game because it's tied up in all that shit. So you literally just can't play it. Yeah, yep. I can't. Literally, nobody can buy the rights to the game. It's like tied up and all this shit. Like nobody can play. But I mean, it. isn't it just like like it requires servers or something? Yeah, yeah. that's Probably nuts. Probably books to maintain it as well. Right? Yeah, it's a Steam game. Huh. It cost cost a lot of money to maintain it, so it went away when all that shit happened. That's crazy. You know how little I play video games, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he has he has like thousands of hours. Yeah, I had over a thousand hours in that game. That's Jeez. nuts. That's a lot. Yeah. Why is it so uh, good? Maybe it was a good thing it happened. Yeah, he would just <laughs> play it while he was working. It was a card base. What, what was that? I was just it saying, was very I was card trying based. to see like why it was so good. It was um it, got it was an auto reviews. battler. Uh huh. Where you would like draft your team basically with coins. Huh. And they had like special abilities. It's kind of like if Magic were an auto battle. Or it was made by Magic the Gathering designers. Gotcha. Interesting. That's pretty crazy that, you know. Yeah. The Isn't that shit weird? Brings that stuff like, down, yeah. Good thing you like didn't buy anything really thing. amazing. Like, uh. Right? Yeah. I can't imagine what well, I mean, he bought. To him, it was his favorite game, Bankman. Yeah. It was like one of his favorite games, so he bought it because he was a fan. Huh. And, and to him, that was probably like, you know, you know, like places like FTX, they throw like thousands of dollars like you know a hundred thousand dollars to them isn't that much and they right. throw it at things like that right yeah hmm. let's see how much a hundred thousand dollars it was best known blah 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 it doesn't say how much he acquired it for i don't think it's a hundred grand i bet it's probably more than that yeah probably uh it, people fans of storybook brawl kind of saw it coming when they started talking about um uh nfts for the game <laughs> yeah, we. Well, yeah, this thing is no, like, Fuck! Why is this crypto involved with this game now? Yeah, God a lot damn of it! Actually, stop playing the game because they didn't want us support, support crypto and NFTs. <laughs> well, they probably yep. had the right idea to just get out then. <laughs> yeah, as I'd say, they were correct. But we wanted to keep playing. But the game was, was so good. good. <laughs> I, I I was like, whatever. <laughs> What's so dumb? So. That that was March. I guess it wasn't really the Silicon Valley Bank that was the problem, but the FTX collapse. Yeah. Well, Silicon Valley Bank collapsing was a big thing, too. Yeah, right, still, right. Still, they bailed it out even without... Well, they bailed it out even though the FDIC limit was 250 k Oh, yeah, they paid over that. Oh. <laughs> it stopped the contagion. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, I was so glad when my bank lost the bid. <laughs> to bail those out and i was like yes chase take them i could i could <laughs> not go through Don't another that bullshit. Could, we had just gone through a merger i could not go through that would have been awful <laughs> i was uh, no i was like i'll quit i'll leave yeah because you got all the people calling about like all the differences with their new bank like policies and shit yeah and you know what i we finally, I finally was speaking to a banker that worked at one of the banks that we acquired, and she was like, I'm glad you guys took over. There's a reason we went under. <laughs> and I was like, I feel so valid. Like, no shit. Mm. Um, I know you're going to really love this news story, okay. Nick, and I know it's really important to you. Okay. Mm. The era 
tour started for Taylor Swift. Era. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Oh my God, how dare I? I have actually <laughs> vaguely seen this in the news. I just see a picture and of her the dressed Beyonce as a Renaissance thing, like, tour. Right? That one I haven't heard of. Beyonce, whatever. But I have heard people talk about the Taylor Swift thing, we so it's apparently big enough. Isn't that crazy? That's X how big it is, where it's yeah. inner your zeitgeist. Yeah, when I like, there is, I could not sing a single Taylor Swift song or name one or. I think she. Did you pick her out of a lineup? Her oh, face, like no. A... But I do know. Oh I'm wait, wait, sure... we gotta test this. Hold on, we okay. gotta test this. How do we do this? I'm pretty sure she came from you the one TV show a long time ago, right? Photos into. What's that? She came from the TV show a long time ago, right? No. Uh, Taylor no. Swift isn't like a, a wannabe industry plant, but her 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 um parents are very very rich. The only okay. thing that she has ever done is music. They're bankers. No, All right, no but but wasn't gonna... she won the from the show with that mean guy? Download me a couple images of people right? you think are kind of like. Is she not from that? that? What no, she, no, she's not from anything. She no, was she just was a singer. Music. Are you sure? Who was yeah, that then? He's only a singer. Oh my! Seven, don't look I, it up because no, we're going to no, give no. you a test. I think she's a singer, but I think she was from America's Got Talent. Is that the name of it? No. No. That's, you're thinking of right Kelly right Clarkson, dude. Fuck. See? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how bad I am. I thought she was the one from that. Kelly Clarkson, really? We're going to we're going to give you a test to see if you can talent. put her out of a lineup. Really? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I really we got a couple good ones. If it's her in the, like two or three of those. a dress or something, I think that's the thing I saw. I gotta, I gotta feel. I feel like I need oh. to know who this. Should is. I look at your screen? Let me look. I'm not even on Discord. Wait, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna download them. We're gonna send them in Discord. But we're, we don't want to have like completely different ones because. <laughs> like you're gonna have Flavor Flav in there and be like, ah, oh, it's him. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> it's <that> exactly. <laughs> uh, well, it's not the black guy. <laughs> All right, hold on. Well, I, while Nicole's getting us set up for your Taylor Swift um, <clears throat> quiz, important the next the next um, thing to happen in March that was actually really important is Trump got indicted. Oh, for the first first president, yeah, to I was get gonna indicted. say that can just be a recurring story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then he got indicted right. again. And then but at the time, it for... was like crazy. Yeah, which one was this one? Just to say, right there. Was that? Which one was this? What was this one for? What are you talking about? What was he indicted for? He's been indicted for several things. Oh, I don't remember. This was his first indictment. I don't actually remember. I don't know. From Bang. Is this one in Georgia? I think that was the first one. And I think that one was disputing election results is somehow a crime or Trump something. Trump was first indicted in March 2023 by Manhattan District Attorney oh, on Manhattan. state charges related to a hush money payment to the doll star. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, that Bang, one's Bang, the most that. BS one. It's banging yeah. a hooker charge. Well, it's not banging a hooker. It's paying yeah, a hooker. Yeah, that's what I'm, and I'm writing down him, the him, but his so lawyer, I think, I'm... paid a hooker. Okay, well. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Did you ever see the picture of Trump's lawyer? Uh, Michael Cohen? Uh, that one? Not that one. That's, I think, the guy that played the hush money, isn't it? Oh, he's no. had lots of lawyers. Giuliani was his lawyer at one point. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Aline uh, Seed. Yeah, because when I, I type this in, it only comes up with Giuliani. But there's another yeah, Michael one. Michael Cohen they... is the one. And then there was... Bad pictures of. Alina Maybe it wasn't Haba is apparently one. The girl? He probably have a legal team. That, uh, look at what... Right, right. No, there's a, he, it was definitely like, a part of his legal team. There is it came out on the most lawyers. recent things. Okay. I don't. I know, can't man. find it because when I I type in Trump's lawyer, what about the image like of this completely. lawyer? What what's is it? It's a, oh, it's a guy. It, the guy has like an almost all bald hairdo, except for like it's like a reverse mullet. Like his bangs are the only thing that Trump's have hair. Bald... He looks so ridiculous. I'm gonna <laughs> Google Trump's bald lawyer. Um. Do you want um, five, including Taylor Swift? Or just he's yes. got a lot. Okay. He's got so many lawyers that when you Google Trump's bald lawyer, there are a lot of different <laughs> guys. Like 800. They're like, this is probably his lawyer. Michael Evan Tenney? No, no. He he's bald, but it doesn't look like him. It just happened with the most recent news story. They just had pictures of him, but I, he, I just can't find I bet he has a different one. lawyer for each state. He probably has a different team of lawyers oh, for each state that's he's probably being true. indicted in. <laughs> 
That's it's probably true. Being a billionaire, you can't afford All right, are we ready no. for the test? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Taylor Swift test. Pull up Discord. I shouldn't yeah, participate. Uh, oh, and then do I go to... Yeah. Hit yeah. this plus button. This is only for now. Yeah. I really okay. have no idea. <laughs> well, let's just do with these four. Well, he doesn't... Just do with these four. It's easier. Uh, I'm going to just pick the prettiest is the fourth one, probably. She's the best looking. How do you know which one? And is that's the why first I wanted one. to throw the other one in there because she, uh, like she was hotter. Yeah. Well, not hotter, Am I right based on that? Well, she looked, she was young as well. Is that yeah. her? Yeah, that's Taylor mm -hmm. Swift. Yeah, she's the prettiest. Yeah. The other one's pretty old. The girl show, in the show red the dress. one you were going I was, try I was oh, trying to throw red. in another one, but it literally had the girl's name in it. This one would have. Uh, I think messed messed you up. Yeah, I think this one would have messed you up. Yeah, I probably would have picked her. She's cute. See? I was, see, that's why yeah. I was like, I need to throw yeah, that one that? in, but it had her name in the in No, the it also, it says CMA. I don't no, think that's Taylor Swift's a country, though. Country Music Awards, that's how Taylor Swift got <laughs> that's, started. That's exactly, music. I don't know. that's exactly how she got all of I would have thought, I thought she was a pop and not country, country so artist. I would have no, gotten her, I would have maybe not picked her on that. She's pop country. But her roots are country. She started off in the country. Who is this If you anybody, Taylor Swift was country. Who's the other good-looking girl? That's here now. This one? Yeah. Nick's like, hey, does she have an OnlyFans? Ask her yes. for a friend. <laughs> her name is Danielle Bradbury. I've never She's heard a of her. Singer from Texas. Okay, never yeah, heard of her. Yeah, because you don't follow country. <laughs> now, she she was um, in The Voice, this girl down here. These were all country singers, Nick. Yeah. Are they? Blonde, really? white country singers. Yeah. And yeah, blonde, so I had, too. Um, I had Faith Hill in there, Miranda Lambert, and Carrie Underwood, but they're all for, like, for the audience. Taylor. So now they know what he was dealing with. Daniel Bradbury would have thrown you off, though, for sure. Yes, that's why I wanted to throw her in. There. And so if we just put those two, you would have been like, "Fuck." Yeah, <laughs> the, the, yeah, because the other ones just don't look that attractive. They're uh, just too old. Well, I thought maybe okay, the first like, one. Maybe they're, they're over thirty-five. Okay, that's not. Yeah, that's old yeah. for super famous pop star. Mm, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's like how old Beyonce is. Mm, yeah. And she's the other person that obviously had a very I big tour this year. Well, let's see how famous she is in another 10. <laughs> I don't know. She Got was em. really irrelevant 10 years ago. Because, <laughs> I mean. All right. Yeah. Okay, what, what's Let's the next move one? on. Well, enough of, I did not think we'd spend that much time on Swifty at all. <laughs> well, I haven't been setting kind of the thing up. All right, so April, I didn't have anything for. April was just the, like, Nothing happened in April. Let, hey, let's, like, chill out. May 2nd, however, we had the writer's strike, the Hollywood writer's strike. Oh, so, okay. Oh, yeah. They're oh, not man, wanting that went AI on for such a long time. That wasn't solved yeah. until, like, October, maybe? Beginning of October? Yeah, maybe like, September? recently. Yeah, that's crazy. Not that long ago. Yeah, D Dune was supposed to come out this year, but it's not because of that. The second part of Dune. Yeah, it's good. it comes out in, like, March of 2024. Other than that, I think no effect whatsoever. Oh, yeah. wow. Thanks. This SAG AFTRA, AFTRA under fire for using AI images post-2023 Hollywood strikes. What? Who? What? Yeah, but you just threw in a random... What are you talking about? So SAG AFTRA was the ones that were striking, and a big part of that was because they didn't want AI to take over their jobs. So... Now they literally just came under fire because they were using AI images after the using... strike ended. Oh, I see. So the the is SAG after the union for the white writers. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. they were using AI. So the union was using AI images. images. Okay. Hmm. But anyways, yeah, I agree with you. I don't think I've seen anything except for the the one movie I was probably excited for this year being delayed. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Did you like you like Dune One? Yeah, it was it was maybe a little slow at good. times, but pretty good. But I, to be fair, Dune is slow, right? Yeah, I started that book and I couldn't finish it because it seemed like nothing happened. Yeah, I thought they did a really good job of basically summarizing the whole plot and everything. Yeah, is it a little slow at times? Yes, but it's hard to tell that story without having a little bit of. But they like, don't have the creepy weirdness factor that I think the book has at times. Yeah, well, that's the only thing that the original Dune movie got, <laughs> right? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> like, a lot of it, like, I think South Park got that part right. Remember, do you remember where they had the Spice episode yeah. in South Park? 
Yep. Where they were sitting there, like, yeah. in their mind, they're sitting there strategizing and thinking about how to get it. Like, that was on a book a lot, as I recall. This is one of the reasons, right, like, right. this is weird. I, I, I can't keep going. <laughs> yeah, but some of it's, like, you got to pick your battles, I guess. Yeah. No, it would have been weird to put that shit in. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> All right, moving on. May 5th. Wow. COVID we went a whole month, was... and then we couldn't go three days without a news story. Yeah, well, COVID was no longer um, was declared a no longer a global health emergency. Yeah, COVID. So I think I have had COVID at least once this winter, maybe more. Uh-huh. But it's just not a thing. Like I didn't like even tested test for it and everything. Yeah, I didn't test, I or I think tested. I think you tested and it came negative. But I think it was just wrong because it was a, an expired test. But now it's just like you're just sick. Who cares? It's just, right. just going to be sick. It's literally the cold now, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. It's and people that is. don't treat it like that, I feel like, haven't moved on. Like, yeah, there come are on, guys. There like, are still crazies that it's are wearing not, masks, I would say right? Flu. Cold. I, like, well, so for some people, it's the flu. For some people, it's a cold. Some people, it's a death sentence still. Huh? <laughs> I mean, well, if you're like 85 or like have a rare condition, but for the most part, yeah, you're fine. Like you, I think you'll be now, fine. You, you will be sick a couple days. Yeah. Like, do you think people that wear masks now are like lunatics? Right. I think like yeah, it's a little weird. Unless you I have like a, a severe, of... if you're like eighty five or you have but like or you weigh eight hundred pounds. If you think pounds, about it, what I think about it is they don't necessarily have to be somebody who's scared of getting COVID. They could be sick and need to go out in public. Yeah, but still. I was gonna... and I'm for that. Yeah, I was going to say a lot of people that I actually see that are going out in public with masks on, a lot of them are like older Asian people. Yep. Yeah, it's because yeah. they, they do that normally. Older yeah. older Asians <coughs> younger hipsters. Mm. But no, I just go and cough right in everyone's face. I don't care. <laughs> or You have younger... kids now. You're going to be sick yeah. no matter what. By the way, you have no oh, yeah. idea how much we've been sick this fucking years. year. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 it's been on. crazy. COVID's oh, just your life now. Yeah. Yeah. There's also younger yeah, Japanese wait till they get into people school. that don't want to put on makeup. You're never going to. No, that's why. Yeah, we, you're. We sent them to daycare in November. Oh, uh, yeah. And I that's have why. been sick from the day we sent them in November up until actually right before we started Christmas break, like my voice wasn't working in December 15th. It was just. Your uh, immune system's going to be so strong after that. Though. I know, yeah, but my like, God, wow. I've never been so sick for so long <laughs> in my life. It was just one <laughs> sickness after another. Like, right? <laughs> yeah, Chloe's still taking Dayquil. And this started in Damn. November. They got you. And Emma's sick again. It's of course. crazy how, like, you know, you other, hear other parents and like, oh, yeah, it's going to be so bad. And then you actually happens and you're like, oh, my God. Right. <laughs> Look, they didn't over-exaggerate. Yeah. <laughs> when my nephew was little, I picked him up because we were, like, at a wedding and my sister had to do something. So I, like, took the took her kid from her mm-hmm. and he coughed into my mouth and I was sick hours later. Yeah. Uh, they That's always cough into so my mouth. Uh, like, Sneeze I, on my I face. I hear a child cough around me and I'm like, I'm sick. Yeah. And then the other thing is they're they'll hand, just, me, like, like, their nose they'll hand me something stuff. and I'll eat it and I'll be like, wait a second, why did I eat the thing? <laughs> that was <laughs> idiotic. Yeah, and they come over to you and they're like, let me put this in your mouth and then you're sick. Yeah, and the amount of or times I see them drop food on the mouth? floor and just yes. pick them back up is like pretty... <laughs> Should be pretty, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, discouraging. Uh, all right, well, no longer a health emergency, but mm. still a, a part of everyday I life, think I guess. It's something, so. Yeah, I think at this point, like, I don't think it, they usually don't mutate into anything worse. So I think it's basically, it's, it's done. It's, Unless there's it's a done. new one. All right, quick, yeah. before the next story, I'm going to get some alcohol. All right, I'll be back in okay, okay. 20 seconds. Break, break, break. Chloe, on a scale of 1 through 10, how has your 2023 been? Oh, she must it, have was... Oh. Mm. it was. It was. a solid 6. A 6. A solid 6. Yep. That's, it's above average. It went downhill ever since we took the kids to daycare. Yeah. Ah. It was terrible. <laughs> Reoccurring theme month. here. Mm-hmm. I'm still coughing <laughs> these days. That's a good question to save for the end for everyone. 
I like yeah, that. that is a we good question. We should do that every year. Um, yeah, why why don't we? That's a good uh, yeah. All right, we'll save that at the end. Chloe gave uh, her number as a prequel here. Okay, next story. All right, June eighth, Trump indicted again. <laughs> yeah, I mean we we can just give, I don't have more to say about that other than we don't okay. have to. We just have to okay. let it be known that I don't that think it, it happened, will you know? amount to anything. I don't think any of this. He'll be the nominee. I think the Supreme Court will overrule all, right. all the uh, banning him on the states. The main and mm-hmm. what, what was the Colorado? Colorado, yeah. And mm-hmm. I, I, well, I won't go over my. Yeah, I should save that for predictions, actually. So. Yep. All right. All right. All right. Next thing. Um, June eighteenth, though, one of the probably the biggest news stories of all of twenty twenty three. Uh huh. Like. Probably lasted the longest out of most news stories, I would say. Like, where it wasn't just, like, a day or two where it was big. It was, okay. like, a solid week of news. And you know, nowadays, a solid week is huge. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. First off, can you guess what it is? What the month was What was the June date? 18th. And it was a solid week of news. It was, like, at least a solid week. It might have been, like, a week and a half to two weeks where people were talking about Did this. Did somebody important die? No. Well. Well. Somebody mm. died, but not important. Not important to us. Yeah. All I right. Know, I, know I got to give it away now. You know, give me one the more Titans. hint. One more hint. Oh, too late. I, already, I just said Titan. I probably should have given all of it away. Titan? Titan. Oh, the submarine. That's <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, that, one. that one. That's a good one. That oh, was, it, and it's not because, like, it's important to the world. It was just an interesting story. And the, right. the media knew how to pitch it. Like, and they apparently they knew the whole time it was bullshit, right? But it's like, right. maybe maybe they're down there struggling to breathe. But yes. apparently they basically was, knew they, from they, the very like, beginning that it, it was all a worse than effort. It. Was like the Coast Guard and the Navy. Yeah. Yeah. They knew. Still, yeah. like, nobody else knew. That slow rolling of the news story made it like even that bigger of a news story, and it kept. But this building. is where you just can't trust the media. Like, I'm pretty sure they knew too. They knew this was all horseshit. Somebody, somebody had it. Somebody got that in. But it's like, let's paint the most interesting picture of it, and then let's go and talk to the people that like, I don't know. Uh, Someone in the news store was like, "Guys, we have not had a mass shooting in like months. We got to milk yeah. this motherfucker." <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. This is a <laughs> great. You know what this reminds me of? Remember in the um, Ron Burgundy, uh, the second one, uh huh, where like he's like just follow the car chase. That news, right? Is like he's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. forget about the real news. Follow the car chase. Yep, <laughs> like this yep. was this. That's what this is. It's not important to anything in any way to anyone. It's very minor and no one cares. Because I will never, I guarantee you, in my entire life, I will never get on a submarine and go <laughs> you, into sir? the ocean. Not even like, with James not, Cameron? Not even a normal submarine. <laughs> An experimental right. submarine that billionaires oh, yeah, go let on. Yeah, let alone an experimental submarine. It will submarine. never <laughs> affect me in any way, shape, or form. And yet, I gotta admit, it's interesting, and I watched it. <laughs> it is. It's a good story. Yeah. Oh, I watched so many videos on what an implosion looks like. Right. Oh. Yeah. I know way too much about that submarine and how implosions work and what happens to your body and you'd during be like, an implosion. And you, <laughs> I, I was thinking, like, man, what would I do if I were trapped under there for, like, two days knowing Nothing. I was going to die? That would be freaky as fuck. But oh, that, yeah, that, it was like never that happened. A dozen yeah. existential <clears throat> crises. I, um, I've seen the whole entire log now from the moment, like the ship started creaking to mm-hmm. the moment it imploded. And it's about 23 minutes. So for about 20 minutes, they knew they were fucked. Well, I think that, that they guy might was trying known. to do stuff, right? I think maybe No, because it kept creaking, and they couldn't they couldn't rise to the surface, and they kept sinking. So they knew. Well, I think that guy do, knew. The other people probably oh, yeah. did not. He's probably well, like, oh, let me might, screw around with a controller. Been like, oh, this is completely normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's cool, guys. It's cool. <laughs> Why is this? That's, like that's the wonder. Is maybe it was like, <laughs> by the way, guys, we're all fucked. You know what I think probably <laughs> happened? Do you remember the ending uh, in the end of Mallrats? Where the, he's my cousin Walter almost died in a plane once? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just take it out and start beating it. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts beating it. <laughs> Might as well get he one last one before, before I go. <laughs> <laughs> and then the plane corrected. Right, right. And everyone put their pieces oh. away <laughs> and never spoke of it again. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, it's shocking that that's probably the biggest news story of 2023, like, in its effect on the news cycle. Mm, yeah, that's true. It's very weird. Well, that's the All way right. we are. Yeah. Well, July 25th, um, we had the record high uh, interest rates in 22 years. Oh, yeah. 22 years. So, okay, 2001. Yeah, day be before my birthday. So, <laughs> basically, what, before 2000? Yeah, uh, no, right, uh, slightly after 2000, 2001. 2001 would be 22 years ago. So, yeah. Crazy. Not that interesting, but it's a it's a fact. That had well, to be it's said. interesting because it's, I mean, it's kind of the big thing in the economy that we've gone so long with interest rates so low. Without, yeah. Uh, I don't know, it's a nerdy thing to think is interesting, but all right, what's yeah. the next thing? It, it, I mean, it's interesting in the fact that we kind of know that the economy's fucked, so it's not as interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's just more of confirmation of the fact. Yeah. Um, hmm. August 8th, Hawaii has wildfires that kill 99 people. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Oprah yeah. and, and The Rock yeah, were like, <laughs> we'll give you $100 million. Here's $54. Or so whatever it was. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They're like, but we're not going to give any money. Can you guys give money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> like some of the we're richest poor. people on the fucking planet here. Give yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so fucking how much weird. of those people like, I don't know. I they feel like do that the, I'll donate more of a new story. and you'll donate with me. But like, man, like you got $300 million. Give 50 of it. And I'll give a little bit more. <laughs> I'll give Literally, 50 bucks. Like give at least one. Yeah, one million dollars. <laughs> Give one. I know it's a tax write off, you fuck. Yeah. I like the billionaires. I'll rummage through my couches and I'm going to find some change and send it. And I hope you can right. do the same. <laughs> yeah, basically. All right. Then um, September 6th, uh, summer of 2023, oh, was recorded September. as. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, there's, there's not many of that crazy news stories. I have a couple where I didn't know the timeline, but there were, like, more stories I knew happened that were oh, important. Okay. All right. Um, uh, summer 2023 was recorded as the hottest in history. Oh, okay. Um, is it? Oh. So, is it hot? Yeah, probably. I don't know. I don't remember it being I, especially Apparently. Hot. Apparently since recording it. Hmm. Okay. Um, then September 14th, Biden's mm -hmm. son Hunter was charged... By a grand jury. Oh yeah. I don't even know what he was charged for. Tax fraud. Oh. He's and been charged possession for of a firearm. Of Very Republican of him. Oopsie Daisy. Yeah, he's. Uh, what else was it? Because he was acquitted on one thing, but went back for another, right? I have Some no idea. Like that. I, I actually don't, don't know much about him. the story. Really, it, the whole the whole joke is that what he got arrested for were like things that Republicans do all of the time, and Republicans Crack? are so mad. Do Republicans do crack? That. No, it was... Smoke some crack. <laughs> smoke some crack rock. Well, <laughs> hookers and cocaine, yeah. Yeah, no, cocaine, Zach. That's a high-class drug. Crack, yeah, is, you're, crack, is, crack, crack is, is more the Democratic weird. voter base. <laughs> Even though it's the, literally the same drug. It is, it is. But they're, they have different penalties for doing them for a reason. Cocaine, <laughs> you get a slap on the yeah. wrist. Crack... Is a big penalty. I don't know if that's true. One anymore, you have to actually but it pay money was. for. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things is that he missed IRS deadlines to pay his federal taxes on time and owed about two million dollars to the government, mm -hmm. and allegedly paid the money back in twenty twenty one. But okay. nothing really happened from it, though. So there's. Let me see what he is for now, because I think it's something different now. Hunter Biden. A lot of it is tax. Tax, tax all tax charges. charges. And I believe one of them was something with a firearm. Your Biden current yeah, charges. Tax new charges. indictment on December 8th. Yeah, I was going to say there's a the new... Nine related tax... They're still tax related. Yeah. yeah. But the ones from June... 
Yeah, nine criminal charges, federal income tax and firearm possession. I told you things that Republicans love. They love to bear arms and, and they fraud. love to not pay taxes. The and they were in the such false. an arms about it. That's because they can start attacking somebody else for it. Yeah. All right. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, I, I knew what it see. was. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Seems like that's it. No, so you know, Nothing about the no, crack. No crack charges. No crack. <laughs> you can smoke crack in Bangor. This is, he went, he this is America. Sure this is America. <laughs> Ain't nobody caught him with that. <laughs> what are you, cop? All right. September 29th, uh, Senator Dianne Feinstein died. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. We had no idea that was coming. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Age 90. Was she 90? Yeah. Man, ninety-year-old senator. And they're basically she, propping she's her up senator. in the Senate. Yeah, that's yeah. She was basically been dead the last three years. Like it's <laughs> for sure. Right. Like more dead than Biden. Like for sure, she wasn't doing anything. Like yeah. no way she was ever doing anything. Pretty she sure she doesn't know where she is. Did like, they have to like help her sign shit? Yeah, like, I think they were doing all of it. Like there was for sure no way she was doing anything at ninety. I mean, obviously. I want a behind the scenes of the senator and Congress. I yeah, mean, we'll never really get doing it. All of it. We'll, we'll never get it, but man, imagine if we could. Yeah, but it's. I mean, I. I wonder how much it's often like that. Like, I think most people don't think George Bush was actually running things, right? We all think it was Cheney doing. Oh yeah, all, right? true. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I wonder how much of it, how often the actual president or the person in charge is actually doing it versus they just sign the papers. They just sign the right. thing, and they're then they most, go and they're campaign. They're basically the face. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, all right, here's the big other news story of the year was the October 7th Hamas attack on Israel, and Israel responds oh. by bombing yeah. Gaza. Yeah, that is huge and still ongoing. What? When did that start? What day was that? October 7th. Wow, it's been going so long. But we do, so long we do now have negotiations for hostage release. Between Israel and Hamas. Yeah. Hmm. Crazy story, though. Yeah. I'm not sure which side I stand on. I don't know. Yeah. They they both seem pretty bad, but yeah, I it's mean, like it's one's a terrorist group and one's a country saying fuck all these people that live next to this terrorist group. Yeah. You know what? Like I don't so know. So they're both doing terrorism, so basically. I'll just let them sort it out. Yeah, that's exactly my <laughs> position. Is for America, just don't care. I, I know we basically <laughs> f support Israel in, real, in reality because they have the most money in America and they have the biggest lobbyist group. Yeah. But, I mean, why oh. do I care? I don't. I don't care. Dude, just, you know what's really weird? Yeah. There's pro-Jewish in Israel billboards in Columbus. Because, oh, there's you tons know, in like, the Bay, too. So, no, there's tons so of, weird. Like, when I drive, I see them. pro Palestinian stuff on the Bay. There's both, but I've definitely seen pro-Jew ones on a billboard. I've only seen pro-Jew in Columbus. Pro-Palestinian billboards? Yeah. Oh, I've only seen pro-Jew ones. I see that every day when I drive home. No, I, I haven't seen a pro-Palestinian pro one yet. Hmm. I feel like the Jewish ones outnumber them again because they have more money. Why are you surprised? Yeah, the same reason America's yeah. supporting them because they can yeah, have the politics. Because of money. Shocker. Yeah. Um all right. Well, yeah, that happened. October twenty fifth. This is the only one that made the news story. And this I feel like is a news story itself that the only shooting spree that made the news happened on October twenty fifth. What what else? nineteen news? people killed in Maine. Oh, I didn't even... I vaguely remember seeing what, that. I didn't even look at it. What happened? Right? That's the only one that even made Who the news. Who was it? And I was felt it like a white it, guy? I don't know. I feel like it made the news because it was, like, the only big one. Maine. The whole year. Shooter. I mean, it was Maine. But what's his ideology? That's always the thing they want to know. Robert Card. Or, like, what's his know. race? Or is he... His manifesto. Yeah, yeah. what's his manifesto? They should always have that, right? He investigators... Oh, good lord. Shooters white writing. Out of curiosity. <laughs> oh god, there's two sentences? Fuck. I know. Just article. tell me who did he support. 
that he's the it's that meme with the guy with the cigarette with the like the blue shirt like uh, long sleeve shirt on just uh, you know if i go to 4chan mean, at the time they will give me it um, right away there's not going to be any like subtleties or Affleck? i don't know what he looks like anymore sorry nicole said that guy with the cigarette doing the meme and i'm like that's fucking that's ben affleck you forgot his name too brief i had okay. to think of it Robert Card, Maine. the last time you watched a movie with Ben Affleck in it? Uh, I watched The Town not too long Gone ago. Girl? I've never even heard of it, see? I'm sorry, we got into a side discussion. What now? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. That was what you were talking about, right? Yes. <laughs> that's Nick when he realizes he has to read a whole article. On yeah. The internet. Like, you know the I'm ben already Affleck giving theme? up because there's nothing that just tells me what to think in three sentences. Okay, what else you are we doing? You know the Ben Affleck meme, right? What's the Ben Affleck what she's, meme? The one she's saying, this is you when you, uh, when you have, when you see more than, like, three is lines. It, oh, is there a Discord? Uh, yeah, I'm putting it in Oh, right is this now. where he's smoking? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's basically me. Yeah, oh, fuck this. I'm not gonna do, do when that. you come across Tell a me paragraph. Tell me three sentences or less. <laughs> All right, um... Nick, when he has to read rules to a board game and not be told them. <laughs> <laughs> Even when he's being told them, what are you talking about? All right, October 28th, uh, Matthew Perry dies. Oh, yeah, that was big mm, news, yeah. I think. Just because yeah, yeah, yeah. he was a big part of culture. Just any, I, right. I still think he was the most likable of the friends, right? If any friend, no, Joey is the most lovable. No. Jennifer Aniston. He's just a dumb dumb. No. She's just hot. Just hot? Yeah. I mean, let's he be doesn't fair. If any friend star it's dies, it's watching. news. I mean, you, you can watch Friends with the Mute on, and it's the same with her. At least uh, hey. Chandler made you laugh. Yeah. He was writing, probably man. the, the like, no, big No, but it's name. delivery. Is it? Yeah, he's got to deliver. What's sad is that if, Ross was like if the Matt worst LeBlanc tried character. to deliver Chandler's the lines or Matthew Perry's, oh, it wouldn't be the same. Also, also he was great in Almost Heroes. Yeah, I yeah. actually like yes, him more in Almost Heroes than uh, you. you yeah, that, that was one, a right? great role. We started watching it, the one with the squirrel. Oh, yeah, yeah, that <laughs> but he's got something in his hands. <laughs> He's got something in his hands. <laughs> the, my favorite movie. bit is the eagle bit. No, that's not my favorite. The favorite bit is it's the Matthew Perry one. He was like, "Don't worry, the ravages of age will deal with him far worse than we ever could." Oh, justice is sweet, sir. It's just so stupid. <laughs> it's just so goddamn stupid. <laughs> You do realize she was made of straw. <laughs> ah, sir, I figured that's why she burned up so well. <laughs> uh, they don't make Such any stupid... movies like that, like that st stupid anymore. <laughs> right, like right. Like some of the Will Ferrell ones. I love have been it. the last ones. They like need Step to. Step Brothers or something. Or it's just so right. stupid but funny. Yeah. It, it, that's the, the balance, though, is that, like, stupid and funny. Yeah. Like, you can't be too stupid. Or it becomes not as funny. Yeah, it can't be so stupid as like some of the parody movies where it's it's just like, right? I don't. Know. It's usually the parody movies that go way too overboard with the stupid. Yeah. All like right. The later scary movies after two. This is this is my last news story with an actual date, and the rest okay. are like ones I don't know when they happen because they're but they're important. Um, uh -huh. November seventh, the Ohio has the abortion law, like uh -huh. rights protection. And then we also passed marijuana. Oh, is marijuana legal in marijuana. Ohio now? It is. Since December, like, 12th, I think. Did you go out and buy some? What's that? Did you go no, buy? It, it's legal to, like, um, carry it right now. Nobody's selling it, like, legally yet. Oh. I think they have to, like, file for license and all that shit. Oh. But it's legal, legal to carry it, and oh. you can start growing your own plants. See, in California, when it went legal, we already had the medicinal ones all over the place. So it just the next day, like there was a day. No, that's the next day you well, could go in there without a medical card. That's yeah, it. Except our governor was trying to block the bill and all this shit. So what a douche. Yeah. So they're gonna slow roll it as much as possible, but like now they can't do anything about people smoking weed. Hmm. 
So that was great news. Yeah. Um. Okay, Nicole's putting the dates in, so we're gonna rewind so all the way back. What was the abortion one? I don't know this this story. Uh, abortion rights protection. So like, uh, oh. um, women could still have abortions oh, in Ohio. So you can get high and kill a baby in Ohio. Great. Yes. <laughs> yeah, At the same time, or as we call it, America's pastime. <laughs> Now I'm going to light up in the abortion clinic while I'm getting the abortion. <laughs> <laughs> Look down like, hey, how that baby doing down there? <laughs> right, hey, right. Hey, before you stab All him, right. give him a puff. <laughs> oh, hey, we actually do have... Okay, let's, let's rewind to April because we skipped April. No, no, March. No, no, I want to rewind to April since we didn't have any for April. Okay. So April, so she put in all the, the timelines. So April was the Bud Light controversy with, uh, what was oh, her name? The... Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan Mulvaney. Yeah. The trans one. And remind you, she received... One beer. One beer. I think it might have actually been... No, it was a six-pack with her face on it. But it, it had, like, her face and her name on it, and they were just, like, happy birthday, or, like... I can't remember if it was her birthday, or if it was her, like, So this is a he that's a she? Anniversary. Yeah. A he What's that? A that's she. a he that's a she? Yes. So, yeah, she goes by she. Did um. She... Yes, they're trans. I don't care what and... he goes by. <laughs> uh, so, uh, da, 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 da. Let me see. This was the Republicans canceling Bud Light they, because he, of this. He wasn't in like a commercial or something? I thought there was in a commercial. <laughs> no, it was like a YouTube video. Like, <laughs> so what it was is it was an Instagram story. And That's what it was. Dylan's very popular across social media platforms. So like YouTube, mostly TikTok More. and Instagram. And it was a story that they had posted to Instagram that they had received oh, this six pack so from Bud Light. And I can't remember if it was either... Um, her birthday, or if it was like her transitioning anniversary, but Bud Light sent them this. Okay. That's now this was not this was not a commercial. This oh, was Jesus. not anything you know that was sold in stores. Too much stuff about this. Um, okay. <laughs> it was a big controversy. Big controversy over nothing. But Republicans to this date will not drink Bud Light because of it. Yeah, so a big thing it's very up stupid the of them to do stuff like this, though. And it's dumb for the other, like, uh, let me, an analogy, like... Uh, I think they didn't see it ever being that big of a deal. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, again, I don't even know what the hell, whatever Nicole just said. <laughs> but, like, it's the same, like... Uh, it's just like a, it was like a little influencer, like, pack, you know what I mean? Like, I yeah. don't think they saw this blowing up at all they were just like hey happy whatever it was here's for uh, some love from bud light it's not like they came out with like a line of beer under her name you know what i mean uh-huh so i feel they like just... that's where they didn't see it like ever but going like, to be a huge story but what do you think about this... the bud light drinking people is i guess what I was, this is where like, like people were going crazy. Yeah, like them they themselves, are like, like shooting Bud Light cans. I think, and them right. down if the I think drain. of a Bud Light drinker, you think a Trump guy, right? Well, okay. Yeah. So there was, yeah. I, I don't, I don't <laughs> like, think you guys know this, but our families were upset that we had Bud Light at the wedding. Yours was? <laughs> or which one was? Um, well, so my dad found out like a week before the wedding. Now, mm -hmm. mind you, we've had this like venue for like over a year, a week before the wedding. He's like, so what alcohol are you having? And they only had like a few that you could pick from in like the basic packages. Mm -hmm. So it was like, you could choose two out of the three beers, which was Yingling, Bud Light and Coors Light. And I know people in your family have drank Bud Light. So I just chose, and I know my family I, drinks I, Yingling. So I, I chose Yingling they and don't Bud Light. Bud Light now. Well, no, not now. <laughs> but I told my dad and I was like, I told him that I told him the wines that I picked out and I told him, you know, Bud Light and Yingling. And he's like, oh, no, no, no. He's like, we cannot have Bud Light. And I wasn't going to get started on why I was like, you cannot be transphobic with me right now. Holy fucking shit. But I didn't I didn't say that. I go, well, it's too late to change it. Um, and he's like, well, ask her. And I go, dad, it's more expensive because they have craft beers, but it's a lot more. And he's like, I don't care. He's like, we cannot have Bud Light at the wedding. And I was like, oh, my fucking God. So I reached out to her and she's like, well, I already ordered it. So you can't unorder it. But she's like, I can order you more craft beer. So that's what we did. 
And then, of course, I said something to your guys' dad, mm -hmm. and he's like, oh, I'm completely with your father on this issue. And I was like, oh, oh, I didn't oh, know my, my dad said that. I drink wine. I don't, I don't, I don't even know there was beer there. I guarantee you, though, dad probably drinks, like, Coors Light in other know, places. I know he doesn't just, drink Bud Light anymore. I can guarantee I like would have six... known right away that he won't drink it anymore. Yeah. Um, we came home with, like, six cases of craft beer that we will not drink. Yeah. We've been pawning them off on people. But I I think the funniest part of that whole Bud Light saga was, one, the right ring was triggered by this, and two, <laughs> they did cancel topic. culture. Yeah, well. <laughs> there They've reversed the rules. There was something else, too, because your dad said something about how what Bud Light said about the military, and I was like, oh, my God. It's okay, though, Nick. It's okay. I just don't care Kid about Rock any of it. Just sell fucking beer. I don't care about it's any okay. of the companies. Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> I definitely don't think they should do political statements. Like, but I don't think they're trying to make a political, a political thing statement. that they did. Don't do it. Just sell beer. <laughs> yeah. Like I but, don't care uh, about the any of it. Just do your jobs. Kid, Kid Rock has come out and said it's okay to drink Bud Light now. He's done boycotting them. I did. Who oh, cares? I'm sure they paid him millions of dollars. <laughs> but he came out and said it's okay, guys. What's, what's, he was the what's one a that really liberal like brand let's like apple i'm trying to think of one that's more far left that's a good question apple's up there for liberal brand yeah but i think conservatives buy iphones what's like uh what's something Rude. only target no I, target do you guys not no, really yeah, target. Target. this target. summer when they when target put out all the pride stuff they yeah. were literally they were attacked for them. Themselves yeah that's why they're they no, 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 no. like attacking no 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 them. you're not understanding what i'm asking so i think for the most part, the only people that drink Bud Light, like 90% of them, are people like my dad, which I would have told you would not, would do exactly, right. react in the exact same way. So I'm trying or to think of like 90% of the customer base. Like You're missing Starbucks. the point though, Nick. Starbucks. I, okay. think they, I, think I think they also thought that customer base would never see this Instagram story. Yeah. But That's the people true. who would see this Instagram story would start drinking Bud Light. So well, they're targeting their not audience right now. But what if, like, Starbucks, let's see, gave money to Alex Jones for a YouTube segment? Uh, yep, that's a, yeah. That, that would be we my equivalent, already... like, okay. like so, how your, do you think your... people would react? Because I think people Starbucks is, like, Starbucks. probably the more the urban hipster. does not drink stuff. Oh, Starbucks. Give they it. come out with like, their what if Starbucks Alex Jones gave cup? money to Alex yeah, Jones a for right a YouTube oh, segment, so right? So much backlash. Yeah, I think this is where like just neither point. of you should do it. Starbucks shouldn't give money <laughs> to like a political person making right, a statement. Know your audience. Bud Light shouldn't give money to just you know just make beer. But like advertise I said, the I, beer. I'm assuming this started as a. Uh, we don't have this demographic. And yes, How I can know. we get them? But this is where I think a lot of it is just basic stupidity on the side of the MBAs running companies. So, like, I think the MBAs should be fired. Like, the executives of Bud Light should be fired right. for their mass stupidity. And if Starbucks <laughs> executives ever decided to give money to Alex Jones... They should be fired <laughs> right, right. for their ginormous That's actually a good stupidity. question if some of them did get fired over. Oh, they it. should be so. because they lost an enormous amount of money for shareholders. I don't. Is it right. a public company? It is probably right. Bud Light. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If That's it's private, then it's their own stupidity, they, and they, they do whatever they want. But if I had shares yeah, in there, right, sure. I would be for sure it, voting for them to like fire those right. idiots. Yeah, Budweiser has to be public, right? Like, uh, it like I don't think it's. Public. It might be owned by somebody. Oh yeah, but if Budweiser. you typed in Budweiser, it comes up Budweiser stock. So, yeah, it's definitely publicly traded. And just Bush. that. It's what a year to date. I want to see the year to date. It stayed steady. But you can see the April decline. Yeah, and then it came right back up to where it was at the beginning. Of yeah, it's the it's the stock is literally in, right back to where it's, it's at. In June, when the controversy Bush. started. It's basically right back to where it was before. I don't see how. Like I thought, people weren't really buying. Like the their customer base. 
for sure are not buying that, right? And I don't think liberals started buying it, did they? Don't forget, though, Nick, their customer base was also college kids, and college kids lean are liberal. Are just poor? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm guessing so, they just own a lot more things. Yeah. They own... Bah, bah, bah. They own Michelob, Stella, Stella Ortiz, and Bex. <laughs> they probably own all the competitors. They <laughs> yeah. Michelob? That's the thing is like Mich- I think <laughs> Michelob. People... <laughs> you did say Michelob. There is Michelob. Michelob, you... you mean? Michelob. Oh, well, I don't drink beer, so yeah, sure. <laughs> but like, don't you see? Like, do you think some people went like, "Oh, I'm gonna stop drinking Bud Light and start drinking apparently Michelob, whatever the fuck that is." Uh, I, oh, hundred percent. It was yeah. yeah they was, they right? said they were gonna go over to Coors, and Zach and I were making fun of them because Coors participates in the Pride parades every year. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> every single year, they're like one of the biggest supporters of Pride. <laughs> hmm. But anyways. That whole controversy happened. Okay, so we still got a couple more to go over. So, uh, I, still March think, I want Starbucks 24th. to give money to Alex Jones just as an experiment. <laughs> <laughs> just so I see how big is the backlash towards them. Just so we can hear Alex Jones yell loudly about something. Starbucks. <laughs> What's that? You turn the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> yeah. Caffeine. <laughs> the, the drink. <laughs> the pumpkin spice. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is a little one, but uh, March 24th, they had the TikTok depositions about, like, the privacy and everything March, on TikTok. They had TikTok. Oh, okay. Oh, the only I thing I saw remember. is a senator being unbelievably retarded. Yes, that that was the actual is, story of that was our yeah. senators have no idea how fucking technology works. No, no, it wasn't. I think he knows the answer. One of them asked, like, is, is TikTok – accessing americans wi-fi network is when they use it and the guy's like well it uses the internet (laughs) (laughs) he's just trying to get them to be like the answer is obviously yes but the way he phrases it sounds like it's malicious when it's just you need it to you know get things from the internet (laughs) Right, right, right. And now uh, they probably are I'm not doing sure how to something. Answer your dumbass question. But like <laughs> that question was for sure. Does TikTok access your Wi-Fi? Like, do do <laughs> I they? Need it. <laughs> no, it was something like that. Do they? Uh... No, I know exactly that question. It was something like that. Yeah, it was some. It was phrased so maliciously, but still the answer was yes because they need the internet. Right. <laughs> it sounded like right, right. like they were doing the something so evil. It was like, um, well. It, it, it's connected to the internet, so in the in the extent that we need to get an internet connection, yes, was basically the guy's <laughs> answer. Yes, sir. For yeah. technology to work in the way it works. Now, they do a lot of other bad things. Like, they will scrub any anti-Chinese propaganda. Uh, I'm sure that's very true. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Um, but I'm, like, not, I'm not on TikTok for Chinese propaganda. <laughs> I don't give a shit. And I'm, they probably have some other stuff. I don't know. But th- for the most part, I, the apps will block you from doing anything that you shouldn't be doing. If you don't sign the permissions yeah. to let them do things, they can't do it. Exactly. So, yeah. Speaking of depositions, though, oh, in July well. we had the Well, Congress I had one more thing about TikTok, though. Oh, go ahead. I'm not 100% against banning TikTok, even though I'm a user. Just mm-hmm. because China essentially bans every one of our things, right? Mm-hmm. I think there should be a bit of a tit for tat for that. Like, you ban all our this little stuff. Payback. You're just we ban petty. your shit, right? Like, and while we're just... at it, get Timu. Yeah. Yeah, Timu is horrible. Oh, but Timu is so been... cheap when we bought, bought stuff from it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, but they actually do collect and sell your credit card data. No, I don't They've care been if you sell my credit card. Several times. Nothing anyone huh? uses on my credit card affects me. If somebody takes my credit card and buys a million dollars of stuff, you know how much I owe the credit card company? Zero, Zero dollars. I know how that works. Yeah, but Zero. the credit card companies care. <laughs> no, they don't. If they if they yeah. actually did it, they would just shut it down immediately. This is why yeah. this is just BS. I don't like maybe they'll send me mail. They might collect personal data, but credit card that's they're not going to be able saying, to use my credit card. I'm just saying they have been—they've been caught selling the credit card data already. 
for their prices. Well, just saying, they can sell my data. Um, I've almost bought stuff on Timu a couple times, and I'm just like, I we just, bought we bought nah. stuff for the kids. I mean, it's cheap yeah. stuff, but it arrived. It yeah, was what it sense. was advertised so, as. I mean, Oh, yeah, in, but you're expecting it to break and you don't care, yeah. right? Oh, well, here's yeah, what we got. Yeah, so, it away or them outgrowing it. Yeah. So the kids always see me playing like my uh, like Steam Deck and I have a couple other ones, right? Video game stuff. Mm. Uh huh. So we bought these ones on for ten dollars, so that they could have their own and they like plays NES games. They're pieces of shit, <laughs> but they play the games. One, the up button doesn't work. But it's something you can give to a two-year-old and but be like, I don't yeah, care yeah. if you break it. It was $10. For $10, right? you don't it's, give a shit. It's yeah. like when they they say can feel you don't like their daddy laptop, playing their laptop, games for a minute. Yeah. Buy them a tiny laptop. Yeah, yeah I, I get it. That so makes sense. It was like, yeah, I'd want to go on Amazon and pay like 40 50 bucks for this and give it to them. But for 10 bucks, send it to me. I'll give it to them and so, break it. I don't care. You know what? That That's a good argument for when to buy something on TeamU. Yeah, if or you which. don't care. I feel like Timu was just a, like, all right, Wish's name has gotten tarnished. Now we need to come out, like, literally let's clone Wish and make it orange. I never saw Wish. The one that shocks me about Timu is how popular they've gotten, given how, like, it seems like the website... Like, remember in the... It's really shitty website. Yeah, like, remember in the 90s when yeah, you went to, I've like, a porn website. site or anything shady? Yeah, yeah. And it would, like, be pop-ups and, like, all the craziest yep. stuff. Like, it looks like I'm they hired you. those guys and were like, make us a website. <laughs> when I say it's like Wish, it literally looks exactly the same. Like the random spinner thing Down to like, crazy this is stuff? how many people have bought this. this is right. Oh, yeah, I never went to Wish, so I don't know what that is. The little spinner that comes up when you first sign it, up. That is nuts. It's like I, it's, it's literally crazy. like a clone website. I feel so like it's just it, been so aggressively marketed. Yeah, so it like, be, I hate seeing ads for it come up. I bet yeah. it would be ten times more successful if it were just boring like Amazon, but with the better prices. Right? Yeah. yeah. And I feel like because it's been so aggressively marketed to me, like I can't get away from the ads. I just feel I like I'm never gonna buy get anything. Out of from my you. life. I'm never gonna buy anything from you just to spite you for all these fucking ads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. As I was saying, in July, then, we also had the alien oh, uh, depositions. I think we talked about it then. US. Still just yeah, we a did. load of horse crap. I still think it's interesting. It did happen. No, I think it's just noise. Like, okay, God. if you have proof that there are aliens... There won't be hearings. There won't be a maybe. Let's debate. It'll be obvious. Right. Okay. It'll be like I'm with you. It'll be like Independence Day where they had the flying saucer over the White House. Okay. Like no one's like, going like uh, maybe it's not there. Uh, it's there. <laughs> like if people, if aliens can travel like uh, intersolarly from a completely different uh, solar system. Like, they won't go and maybe sort of crash their plane and leave that. That would be, yeah. that's something people that can't travel interstellarly do, right? You mean interstellar, sir? Interstellar, I'm sorry. Like the movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> interstellar. Interst <laughs> interstellar solar would be the same thing, right? But whatever. Interstellar. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm with it, you. It's always but been still, crap. But interesting me. that people did it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, also I, I, really I just, important for July. When that comes up, I just completely gloss over it. Don't even read any details. Go, no. When there are alien confirmation of aliens, I'll know. Because it would I'll be know. like 9-11. Like, yeah. you don't need to go look at a news Exactly. Story. No it's one's trying happening. to convince me 9-11. Like, I'm not sitting there thinking, maybe 9-11 didn't happen. Maybe it did. <laughs> Let's hear <laughs> testimony on whether or not it happened. No. Right. Well, we'll some know. of that's happening there now. There will be no debates. <laughs> No. Um, also important for July was the phenomenon Barbenheimer. Oh, yeah. That's another <laughs> marketing <laughs> thing. So it was not really that. that. Oh. What's that? That oh. tone drop in your voice went, ah. Oh. Um. Yeah, that's because it's like, I mean, Barbenheimer, again, it's just marketing to like, I think that's part of the marketing is to make it like, what was the Benefer? Is that it? 
Yeah. Yeah. Ben Jennifer Affleck. and Ben yeah. Affleck. It's like, yeah, I don't even want to know that. I don't even, but it's still, from like when I was in high school, that was ingrained in my fucking brain and I can't get it out. And this uh-huh. Barbenheimer thing Jennifer is another Lopez, marketing thing that was way. ingrained in my yeah. head. And I know exactly what you mean when you say it, but I don't want to. And I do. I thought Oppenheimer was a good movie. Mm-hmm. I just, just don't. I just can't. It just be a movie. <laughs> right, 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 right. I'm with you. I get it. Yeah. But I, um, I have heard good things about the Barbie movie. Uh, yeah, I haven't watched it at all. I've. Uh... No, I saw one clip with Ryan Gosling, like, uh, saying like. Uh, I don't know, acting like he's uh, a doctor and, like, give me a scalpel and just acting like an idiot. That was kind of funny. So I, maybe I'll watch it just because that was funny, but the I've, I really don't want I've to. I've heard it's know. very funny. Oh. Uh, that one scene seemed funny enough. All right. Well, it's on our list to watch, too. Same with Oppenheimer. I still haven't seen that. Oh, that was pretty good. I mean, as good as you can make it a movie about... A scientist, so you know, don't expect a lot of action or anything. It's just well, no, you know, you know, what was really good was um, Chernobyl. Oh, that miniseries. was a good movie. It wasn't as good as Chernobyl Oppenheimer. I think Chernobyl had more drama in it, like more. Yeah, Chernobyl is a really good series. It was like what, like yeah. five episodes or something. It was really good. Yeah, Chernobyl was good. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, oh wait, uh, Nicole added George Santos December. I'm not sure what that's in reference to. Uh, that he wears oh, heels. he's that lying no, guy. He's, like he's that senator that lies. To be kicked out of Congress. About oh, everything. I didn't hear about this. Oh, do yeah, you know who George Santos is, Zach? He's hilarious. Yeah. He just... I know who he is. I just didn't realize he was kicked out of Congress. I didn't actually know. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. saw that he was. He is, they literally just did it. They, like, voted on it. This is where, like, I'm um, sort of with, like, on the Trump thing, like... It's just such good entertainment. I want to see him just keep going. Because, <laughs> like, when I see interview? some of the shit he says, it's hilarious. Like, he claims yeah. the most outrageous stuff. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she's like, I, I won the 1910 Olympics. <laughs> he's like 35. <laughs> like, he just, he's like, I graduated from Harvard and Yale and Columbia. Okay. Like, he graduated from all the Ivy League colleges. <laughs> just whatever <laughs> you want him to say, time. he'll say it. <laughs> it's like, the, I, it's been a while since I looked at all his lies, but they are so outrageous and stupid at the same time. <laughs> it's hilarious. And then it's just, it's so funny that he can still get elected. It That shows you, the strength of our system. How if, shitty it is that people like this get elected. Like, he's a senator, for God's sake. If you want some good entertainment, sake. Nick, yeah. you need to watch the George Santos Z-Way interview. Z-Way? What is Z-Way? What's up? Uh, she's, she's like, a, she's an interviewer. I never heard of this person. Um, and she does. Um, she's very uh, dry humor style, oh, and she that. very much like twists things to make the person always look bad. Mm. So when she he he's like, I'm an icon. She's like, icon. And he's like, I'm an icon. She's like, say that again. And he goes, icon. She goes, I con. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. It was great. Okay, I know who you're talking about. Mm. Yeah, I've never heard of that person. I'm too old now. She's a, a she got famous off TikTok. Oh. So you, you but she does, but she does the interviews on YouTube. Huh. All right. Oh, not this one. I was thinking of a different lady. She's she's pretty big on YouTube as well. I'm sorry, on TikTok as well. Lisa Mai was on TikTok. All right. All right. Well, on to our predictions. Okay. And how we fared. Oh, do you want to do how we so, fared first? What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did like a midway predictions where we edit our predictions. Oh, uh, okay. So I had Kanye will have special treatment of some sort on Twitter, maybe even a music video or release. Whose prediction was for this? For show on Twitter. This was mine. Okay. Kanye and Musk will get wins the fight. Treatment? That never happened. <laughs> but I put if happens, which I doubt. Babe, how much you do right okay, on Okay, yeah, book? that definitely didn't happen. That became so, another non-thing, right, too. What's that? 
Nick, you said the Supreme Court restores slavery. It is in the Constitution. <laughs> Why did I say that? I don't. Well, I, I want to go back sir, and know the context. this was your prediction. I can't help you predicted. Oh, because abortion, because they went back and read. They were like, "Let's, <laughs> let's, let's." Uh, because abortion was then made not illegal again. So then I thought they were going to go don't back know, and man. be like, you "Hey, slavery to happen. It Slavery's happen. coming back too, baby. <laughs> we're going back. <laughs> we're rolling that clock um, back." So this out like of context. Of that sounds terrible. <laughs> What's that? We all pretty much predicted the fight won't happen. Yeah, between that Musk was and obvious. Zuckerberg. Like it just won't. There's too many reasons for it to not happen. Um, you also predicted Nick that RFK will run for president and go nowhere. Uh, has he? He hasn't yet? started yet. Did I haven't announce? seen him in any of the debates. I don't R- know if he's announced. RFK. Uh, running. For president? Look, and now he announced his campaign time, like for the November 2024 on April 19th. He has announced his candidacy for the president. Okay. And you know, he's gone so nowhere. Midway through the year. He has you, gone you so cheated. nowhere, we didn't even know he announced he was a candidate. What's that? <laughs> I was to say, this was July when we did the predictions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I was saying he, he it would go nowhere. So he had announced, apparently. And it's, he's gone so nowhere, we didn't even um, remember that he had announced. Gotcha. Chloe said China won't invade, China's economy will collapse, but no one will know. I guess we won't know that's if that's right. true or not. <laughs> it's collapsing? She says it's still in process. Oh, it's in, it's in process. I think it is from what I understand, but again, it's always such a black box. Wow. Like, even to the Chinese people, <laughs> they don't know. Nobody Chloe knows. also That's said France will be will fall to nationalists because they let the damn immigrants in and they stole their jobs. <laughs> Wait, what? Whatever what happened to those French <laughs> protests? French will go super right, which is going to cause problems. But that's technically not until 2027. That totally fell off my radar. Three days ago, that shit's still going on. Okay. Right, uh, over the past 12 months... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. That's probably not happening this year, at least. Uh, my other... I guess it's a good thing it didn't come true, but I predicted we'd have a 42-killed uh, mass shooting by the end of the year. It was only 19. Yeah. Um, did I give a number? I think we all gave numbers, uh, didn't we, if I remember? Let me see. Yes, actually, Nicole predicted 25. Not close. That was actually might be the closest. But is it is it uh what's Nick, the... you just predicted we'll drop in count. My original prediction oh. was forty and I upped it to forty two. Is it the price so... is right rules so no one wins? No one wins, yeah. yeah closest we gotta go the price over. is right rules in there. Well yours was you just said it will go down. It'll go down. What was the last one? I don't know what the last year was. The if... Vegas shooting was sixty one. Oh, wow. Well, that's not much of a prediction if I didn't give an exact number. Yeah. Oh, no, you said we will top 2022 kill count in shootings. No, that wasn't even close. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you, that's what you put. I don't think I would. You said we'll top it. You said we will top Vegas I think I would say that for 61. this year coming. Because I think the election year we could top. No, nope, that's what you said for this year. All right. Well, I definitely got that one wrong then. Um, let's see. Trump allegation or he's acquitted for document charges. I guess we won't know that. The writers I, won't yeah. settle. That was your bold prediction. Oh, really? They yeah, did. they totally settled. And she said, but realistically, they'll hold out for a long time, like November or December. Oh, that, then I was right on that, realistically. they did. Yeah, you're out. trying to make a bold I was, prediction. I was now. off by one month. Yeah. A uh, new prime minister of Britain won't even last a year. Shit, I think he did. Who was that new prime he minister? He did. Of... Yeah, I think he lasted. You said no retirements or death until Biden's term is up. No matter who wins, there will be some justices. Well, I don't go. think he's actually been in there a whole year because I think he had just been elected. So he hasn't yeah. quite lasted a year yet. He's got another six months. 
So the, you got to check with me on that one in six more months. Okay. The, I put the first show written by AI will air. Damn. You did? No, that hasn't happen. happened. I saw... Did I you watch... I predicted a Civil War, Civil War somewhere other than Africa. That's Hamas probably true. and stuff was a war, but not Civil. No. Nah. Did you watch the... It was years ago they made an AI written show on YouTube that had that guy from Silicon Valley in it. No, no, so it was I like with I think like Chat GPT two wrote it. Right? Okay. So it it was basically nonsense, but he acted it out. And it had the right <laughs> feel, but it was all nonsense. I think they should do it again <laughs> and it would probably be decent. Probably be least. a lot better. Yeah, it would be decent enough. Um I had that my bold uh, prediction was Trump will physically hit Biden in a debate. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't even debated yet. See, some of these my we less, go too far out. Right. My less bold prediction was Trump will have yet another indictment. Oh, yeah, that's not. No, we knew that was going to happen. So that wouldn't happen. <laughs> um, what else? That's it. That's pretty much all our predictions. We don't have anything crazy. Okay. All right. Are you ready to predict next year? Uh, okay. Oh, no, no. Well, like... Let's rate our years. I, I, I thought we were going to do that after we do our Oh, we're going to do predictions. predictions first. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to contribute to the first? Or you get something? Uh... All right. We You'll... definitely have to have our... Um, our prediction for biggest mass shooting numbers. It is tough to predict. Election year, you got to think it's going to go up, though, right? I'm just going to throw out 50. If today, this year was 19, I think we're going to hit 50. Because I want to give it, because apparently I didn't give a hard number last. But no, if I do, I shouldn't go first because if we're prices route rules, people are going to go right under me. <laughs> a prices right rules? Is that what we're thinking? Yeah, okay. What's your prediction for kills count? 49. 49. God damn it. I knew she'd do it. <laughs> oh, you really did, did the... <laughs> I hope it's 51. <laughs> or I'll get spot on. There'll be one guy that kills 50 people. Exactly. What I you... could do 48, and then this was just pointless. You know what'll happen? <laughs> if someone will kill 41, and I will go out and kill nine more people. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? That's, That's mass shooting. Separate. It'll be nine random people. I'm going with 30. 30? So still more than 19, but less than where you guys are at. Yeah. I think it's got to be... That's my real prediction is higher than this year. Yeah. But still not that high. Not like... Because it just seems like we don't have it like the 2016, 2017 days, right? Right. All right. Uh, yeah, then Nicole for a while has to there, put it was out a literally number. like every other week. Did Nicole put out... Is she Any? gone? Yeah. Oh. She's going to bed. All right. What's the next predictions? Uh, um, I think it's going to cease fire. Who wins the election? Like oh. I think he's I'm gonna, going Trump win. Yeah, I think he's going to win. Just because. Why don't I think Biden? This the economy's not that great. What about DeSantis? All right. DeSantis? I think he's already over. No, he, no the Republican nominee is going to be Trump. I think that's that, a... I think, yeah. You think DeSantis is going to get the nomination? I don't know. I think after the indictments, Trump is going to win the nomination. I'm going to put a bold prediction, though. Like, It's not really bold. Trump only wins the election if Biden is running. Yeah. that's Or Trump isn't like running at all. He won't win. But yeah. well, if Biden Trump isn't risk. running, he won't win. There's well, that's what I mean. Like, if something Trump happens to where he actually can't uh, run, that's the only way he wouldn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah, you're right. If he can't run, he won't win. Yeah. But I do think if he runs and Biden won, runs, he'll win. And I think even the people that would replace Biden, I don't think people will vote for. Right? I think the yeah. front runners are Kamala and uh, Gavin Newsom. Right, and I think there's a lot not of anybody I care to vote for like them. So I don't. But think... I like them more than Trump. I think. 
<laughs> yeah, but so I think Biden, like people liked Obama and he was the vice president of Ob- of Obama. And that brought a lot of people right. together. But I think they got him the first election. Yeah. I think the economy just not doing well. I just don't see him winning. The second election, I don't think he just but then, has it in the bag like that. A year is a long time for things to happen, so who knows? That's what I'm saying. Like, I can see Biden, like, dying or something, you yeah. know? And that just throws a whole wrench. Like, if anything, if the Democratic Party is smart, they might start giving him a little too many of his pills. Mm-hmm. But then again, like, who would replace them? Kamala Actually, Harris is going to run for you know president? What? That's my bold prediction. I don't know how bold that is, but Biden dies. Oh, yeah, that's pretty that's bold. That's my bold prediction I think that's for the bold. year. I don't think he'll die. I mean, he's a rich guy, and I don't think he's actually doing the job. I think he basically sits around and every now and then parades out and goes, uh, and then he goes I'm back. Just, so many people have died. I don't see how Biden is alive. Uh, okay, who do you think Trump's VP will be? Oh, that's interesting. Ooh. It ain't going to be Pence. Might be DeSantis. That might be. Might be that Vivek guy. I think that's what he's... The Indian Republican guy. Oh, yeah, I remember I'm him. okay with Santos. Vivek, right? I'm putting Santos, because that sounds... You mean DeSantis? Santos DeSantis, is the guy yeah. that got kicked not, out of Congress. Not, not of Santos. <laughs> not the crazy... Uh, <laughs> that'd, DeSantis. That's that'd be the an Florida guy, right? Combo. I'm going to say the Indian dude. Vivek? Vivek, yeah. Yeah. Just because he pulls in a minority... I think he did a really great he, thing. Yeah, people uh, like him in the debates. Oh, uh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, I can see that one. Is it Vivek? No, Vivek. Vivek? I don't know. Are you no going idea. with that one too, Chloe? Yeah. I you said DeSantis. Now you're changing it to mine. Sure, it doesn't matter. No, that's fine. What is yours, Zach? I'm DeSantis. DeSantis, okay. Yeah, that's not an outrageous one. But the one thing is he's already locked Florida, I think, so... Exactly. I don't know where Vivek is from, though. No. No, no, no. He's already locked Florida, so you often want to pick a VP from the, that will get you somewhere else. Yeah, that will give you votes from somewhere else. So I'm he saying that Vivek that guy will that bring in Ohio. What's that? No. Swing states. Oh no, right? Ohio's not really swing anymore. It's gone Republican. Florida's mostly gone Republican too. Yeah. I mean, Obama. No one's won it since Obama. There, ours have had it wow. since. Yeah. And then Florida has seems to have mostly gone R two. Um, with DeSantis, but isn't especially. that a, the definition of swing state? Is the way Ohio's voted the last elections is who won? No, because they lost the last one. What they, do you mean? They voted Republican in the last one, and the Republican lost. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, I see what you're saying. The, yeah, you're so right. they, it's all. So Florida's now R. Ohio's now an R, and I don't. Think they're able to take him back? It seems, especially Florida, because in the last midterm, DeSantis won by a lot. So, mm, what else? What What are some other interesting uh, predictions? Okay, the Israeli thing. We always need a celebrity death. Oh, that's another one we need to do. Hey, did anyone predict the Queen was going to die last year? No. Really. I don't think so. Let me see. Uh, I really would have thought I might have said she'd My prediction in 2023 celebrity death was Biden. Okay. Yours, Nick, was James Earl Jones. And oh. Nicole put Trump. I think that was more wishful thinking. James Earl Jones <laughs> is still alive? Yeah, apparently. That dude's 92 years old. Wow. Did Chloe have one? I no, she wasn't the, on it, apparently. I said oh. the... The For the Israel original and one, Gaza gonna seize war. Israel and Gaza is going to seize war. That's what I was going to see. We say what I was going to debate. Hold on, celebrity death. Who's celebrity death? Celebrity death. James Earl Jones. I, I already have. I'm already up in so. James Earl Jones. The motherfucker's ninety-two. How long? You're putting last? him in. Yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm a believer in the James Earl Jones death. <laughs> I can't believe that guy's Chloe? 92 years old. Mm-hmm. Who's going to die next Do you year? have a celebrity death prediction? Uh, don't 
know that many celebrities. Who's old? All right. I have to have a crazy one. I feel like I need my Biden normal, my crazy Kanye West. Kanye West? That, that's not that crazy because he's crazy. Okay, exactly. You, you can give a crazy one like that, but it probably makes more sense to give an old one. <laughs> oh, what's that? What's that guy's name that's that's married a uh, very young, but he's in the the Rolling Stone that he's still alive? Uh, Mick Jagger or the what's the drummer? Keith Richards. Keith no, Richards. Mick, Mick, Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger. She thinks Mick Jagger is gonna die. That's, that's not a bad one, dude. That guy's or a mutant. De Niro. Oh yeah, he's De Niro, pretty old too. I think is like he ain't looking that good. De Niro. Scorsese. He's like freaking is old. Is he still alive? Yeah. Clint Eastwood would be a good one. How old is Clint Eastwood? That dude's super old. I'm giving Chloe all these other people. <laughs> oh, she's got a, a wide... Po- I may named most of them, but yeah. Oh, Clint Eastwood is 93. Uh, for all I care, they might all die. Just It might happen. <laughs> wow. Chloe claims all die. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. All right. What other predictions we got? Uh, oh, yeah, so Israeli-Gaza. Okay, the Palestinians lose. I'm, I'm just going to say that. Whatever it is, whatever the resolution, the Palestinians lose. What's that? I said I don't think that's way. much of a prediction because that's yeah. just how money works. It could potentially, maybe they nuke. They, they could get a dirty bomb in there or something, but probably not. Um... There could be another Middle Eastern country like coming and invading Israel, but probably not because Israeli probably not. technology. Okay, is so much that was better. one of the major predictions I had: is we have a third major world conflict. Oh, that's not a bad one. Mm. Mm. Okay, anything in China, Taiwan? No. No. Still just sitting there, being like, I'm "Do you have any do, prediction for Russia and Ukraine?" Like, the war is not going to happen mm. to Taiwan. What's that? We we also have the Russian Ukraine. Any predictions on if it like ends or yeah? Escalates? I'll say it'll end this year. That'll be my prediction. And okay. Russia will win. Russia will win. Okay. Yeah, I think win. Russia will lose. No, they're gonna win. I'm pretty sure every prop everything I see about Ukraine doing well and Russia sucking is propaganda. Yeah, Russia's gonna win. They just have way more money and they'll just stay. They can just keep going. <laughs> yeah, they'll just keep throwing bodies at it and. The- yeah. Let's put it this way. I think when Hitler invaded, oh, I think Russia lost I, a million I, goddamn people. Now I think about it, who's going to die? I think Vladimir Putin's going to die next year. Really? Yeah. That's All a, right. Wild That's prediction. a very bold prediction. That's a bold one. And it's going to have a coup. Oh. And you All right. Probably I'll put it in there. He's dead. He's probably As your just bold like, prediction. he disappeared. He disappears? Yeah. But yeah, I agree with you. Russia is just going to win by sheer resources. Yeah. I think Russia will win. And I think we only helped Ukraine just to extend the war so Russia would lose more. Yeah, of course. Uh, What else we got? Any other interesting predictions? Um... I don't have any other good predictions. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, AI. What's going to happen? Ooh. We hit the singularity. Do you know what the singularity is? Um. Been a while. That's very familiar. The singularity... Is when I know what they meant in physics. No, no, that's a different. The singularity in AI. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. Is the singularity no. in physics? The singularity in AI is supposed to be when AI gets to the point where it's smarter than humans, so much so that it can improve its own code better than a human can, uh... and then it will take off. And its level of intelligence 
Like it'll just skyrocket to being so much smarter than humans that basically all our jobs are gone. Gotcha. I don't like know about it'll jobs just being completely right generate away, but... all movies you would want if you just ask it. And then the, the 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 real question is how do you like when you see Elon Musk and everyone? Have you not heard them talk about? Uh, yeah, I know he's AI worried about this happening. And like it, yeah, that's what they're talking about. Is it reaching the singularity? And kind of uh. taking over, taking control. And then, like, uh, there's a debate I don't about, think we're close to that yet, but we're, a line we're in a scary AI time line. where Anyways. you can see that happening. Yeah, it's not going to hit singularity. I don't even think it'll do yeah. it in the paradigm that we're in. But, uh... I, I think it'll continue I don't to know. I could see it in, like, 30 years, you know? I always think of it as the scale of, like, how long dial-up took to become what we know now as internet. No, I think, like... Like 20, 30 years. No, I think, like, well, yeah. But, no, I think we're more in, like, the 95 era of the web. Like, in, in 10 years' time, the web was pretty big. Right? I think in 10 years' time, right. AI is going to be huge. It's going to be like yeah. Google-level industries created. And now I'm talking it. 10 more years after that, where it's yeah. like, okay, now everyone uses it, everyone has yeah, it. Yeah, even old people do that. And it keeps being improved upon, and yeah. that's when it becomes possible. Yeah. But this is next year predictions. Next year? Um, okay, I got it, I got it. AI websites start surpassing Google. Uh, like nah. when do when do you say instead of Google like just ask AI? Nah, I don't think so. Just ask Chat GPT. I think people I, think that's happening, and I do it sometimes, but not that much. I every time I'm frustrated with Googling, it happened today. Okay, Googling, I'm like, why the fuck yeah, am I, I Googling? Google I have has AI. gotten so bad for some things. Yeah, but here's my prediction: well, there will be an AI media generated that we consume. Like a video, like a YouTube video, or like a like some art that is uh, actually gotcha, gotcha. good, like a whole movie or a show or something where it's all written and the like content is generated by AI, like the video. I think that's mm -hmm. gonna be the next thing. Is like we will watch an AI I like show. It. I like or that movie. prediction. I think that's my big prediction. Chloe, what's your AI prediction? You have a or just a big prediction like that. It doesn't have to be AI. I feel like a good AI prediction and then a prediction. Like one AI related idea. Because okay. it's such a big part of the world. Opposite. I think the AI trend will cool down because people are finding it hard to, to make profit of it. So you think we should sell NVIDIA stock? Yeah. Sell NVIDIA. That's Chloe's prediction. Is it you there, Zach? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I was typing what you said. I think they're still going to take years till the technology to mature. By mature, I mean... I'm not saying so that AI content we consume will be great, but it'll be watchable. It'll be it'll be enough to where it's interesting that AI created it yeah. and it's watchable. Like it's passable. Of like it's passable. Yeah. Like it's something you'd watch. Okay. Like what Any other bold it's predictions It's not going to be a masterpiece. I don't know. I feel like it's easy to make money off of AI, right? For some, oh, you know what I saw just, that a, on Hacker News? Ads, that, wait, wait. Like everything else. Do you know what I saw on Hacker News that is for sure making money off of AI? What? You take an image of any woman, you upload uh -huh. it, it will remove her clothes. Oh, Jesus. That uh, is now yeah. an industry. Yep. And I guarantee that's making money. There's no way that's not making money. Man. No, because it's all... Because it's basically no different... Like, because it's not really removing the clothes. It's making it up. It's just guessing based on porn images that seen. like, eh, this probably looks like this. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think it's illegal to Photoshop someone's face onto... It's not illegal if you don't say it's real. You tell them it's fake. I fake this. It's illegal yeah. to say it's real. Well, then people it's not. find to use it huh. as a What's real that? one. That's why, I mean, you can't really sue them yet. It's a gray area, I would say. 
it's, I'd say it's creepy, but I don't think there's anything illegal about it. Huh. Either way, money's going to be made from it. Yeah. I think that's where it's being made now. Shocker. Porn is the way to make yeah. money off of AI. Legislator. Hmm. I think even better than that, Nick. Mm hmm You can download a, a any porn video and have a celebrity's face put on the yeah, woman. Yeah, I, I bet. I almost guarantee man. people are uploading celebrities to this, too. It's been like, yeah, yeah. yeah. make this lady Just a, like... You know those AIs that are like face swaps that are already happening? Same thing, but face mm. swap for porn. Oh, hey. All right. We didn't cover one thing in this year. What? Well, I think it's technically at the end of the year. Mickey Mouse, at least the Will Steamboat Willie version of it, uh -huh. is now out of copyright. Really? Mm -hmm. It actually happened? Yeah, I think at the end of the year. You can... You That's can't. Crazy. I don't think you can do things like give him yellow gloves or whatever. He has to be black and white. Or he can basically be Mickey Mouse. Interesting. Same with Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. I don't know about Winnie the, the Pooh. I don't think me so. now? I don't know when he became. It, it, this year, because they made a movie where it was like a horror film with Winnie the Pooh. Oh, really? Then probably. Then he's probably out of copyright. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, it just happened like it was this year or last year, and they yeah. made a horror movie with it, Winnie the Pooh. It's Pill. like uh, Sherlock Holmes went public domain maybe like ten years ago. Remember when the, you had uh, yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch playing Sherlock Holmes, and you had uh, oh what's yeah. the Robert Downey Jr. playing him, and there There's were several other versions of Sherlock Holmes, and it's all because it went out of copyright. It was like now it's yep. all legal. Just make them. Yep. They Do all whatever rushed. you want. But I don't think Mickey Mouse is... I, there, you just can't make that much off of Steamboat it's Willie Mickey Mouse. Maybe. And here's it comes back to porn. You can make you can make Mickey Mouse porn now, legally. They can't touch you. Yeah, that's true. I'm not sure I want to watch it. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all I'm it. doing. You can make it and you can sell it. All right, well, any one, last predictions before we give our ratings of 2023? Uh... Well, yeah. Will Kanye say something racist? Uh, he'll say something nonsensical. I don't. Well, I that's, forget what the. That's a given. Oh, I remember showing you, Chloe. It was something racist. Now that I remember, I I, I saw on TikTok another interview of him. He's going to say, "I went to these doctors. And I'm not going to say what ethnicity they were. They were Jewish." <laughs> you just said what was <laughs> like Jesus Christ Kanye he's just Dude, so nuts fucking wild man he's just like he look it took like half a second before between I'm not gonna say what ethnicity they were to where he said their ethnicity <laughs> like, oh my god dude Jesus you are not mentally stable at all no he's not um, All right, well, I guess we've got to give our rating of the year. Yours was Chloe, six. You, you clocked in 2023 as a solid six. Yep. Solid six. Me. Dropped since kids went into yeah. daycare. Mm, four. A four. Yeah. Same reason? Nah, January was terrible. Boring. Uh, what was what terrible else? about January? Yeah, I don't know. Nothing happened. Um, what else? <laughs> February, March. I'm trying to think of what. Nothing. It was, it was pretty boring. You know, a blah year. Trump isn't entertaining me. <laughs> That's. No there was Trump no shootings. I'm just so bored. Mm. Boring. I don't know. You're busy every day. How could you be bored? Yeah. If you don't, you feel bored. Just go wake up those babies. I yeah, guarantee you won't be bored. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I don't know. What about you, Zach? Um, mine's a weird one. First four months, like a solid like seven. I was in school, wasn't working. Oh, that's that was great. Great. Mid year. 
mm-hmm. like a, a five. I was working a lot at the post office. You've had a wild year. Then, yeah, after that, it it's like an eight or nine, you know, got married, uh, got a new job. Uh-huh. I've been painting miniatures dur- during my work. It's great. Oh, nice. Your job's going well still? Yeah. Well, that's good. Um, all right. So you got to average those. What's it come to? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I went 7, 5, 9. So what is that? 14, 21 divided by 3. So 7. Well, that's a good year. So a good year. It's it, it it was a very ebb and flow year. Mm. But boy, is it great when you don't have to work. Yeah. No, that may be one of the reasons. I feel like my work picked up towards the end of the year, too. Last three ah. or four months has been crazy busy. That'll kill it. And I, it, yeah. like, well, during the beginning, I think I was maybe, like, on something that, you know, I could kind of just take my time with. And now I got, like, a bunch of coaches. Uh-huh. So that, I think that's right. probably also probably a bad thing. Yeah. Also, you have kids, so you're always busy. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get you don't get rests, mm. but yeah, being able to paint miniatures has been fun. Yeah, um, I started painting I my the... miniatures again just recently for my birthday. Uh, uh-huh. I bought myself Hero Quest and started okay. painting those miniatures. Oh, and you, you know they remade it, so like, so they're yeah. they're yeah, not yeah. the miniatures I thought. Did you I was buy the get. new version? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that they were completely new. I thought I they just remade the exact... But the miniatures have changed. A bit of it has changed here and there. Yeah, it's they, mostly up, they the same. updated it, basically. But yeah, they're still pretty cool miniatures, though. Right. No, they yeah. did a great job. Um, It was like a big Kickstarter campaign. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've had several expansions now since then. I was looking. Yep. So, yeah. But it, and Chloe and I played a couple of adventures. It's fun. Now, the problem is have we you? just never I... have the time to do it. I was, I was wondering how it, like... Hold up? How good it was, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, like, the rules are pretty simple, but still we're, like... Like, we've, like, lost characters both times. Like, we almost lost the second round, so it's, like, it's challenging, and you have to strategize and think of, like, okay, how, how do we, uh... what Like, oh, this is where we for sure made a sta- mistake. This is why we lost that guy. <laughs> Gotcha. Like, yeah, so it's been yeah. kind of fun, actually. I thought that's... Here's where we fucking goof. I remember it was kind of simple, but, like, yeah, you, you get decent enough strategy even on some right. rules. And, like, as opposed to, like, Mice and Mystics, I feel like there's less things to track because the rules are simpler. I remember we getting overwhelmed by Mice, Mice and, and Mystics. Mystics was a lot. That's, yeah. like, my, my complaint with that game. I liked it, but it was just too much... To freaking yeah, it does have a lot. Over. Like, oh my god, okay, it's his turn, then he goes, and then he goes. Like, oh my god. <laughs> right, right. Make it simple. I put my miniature paintings in the Discord, so you, or dis, yeah, oh. Discord, so you can see them. Let me see what you're painting. Uh, These are all the Discord. I, it's a game called Ankh. What is it? A game called Ankh. Ankh. Oh, those yeah. look pretty sweet. Like an Egyptian necklace. And then I have a Warhammer figure in there too that I painted. Oh, yeah, those look pretty sweet, man. Oh, we bought Gloomhaven. We played one... Oh, really? We played one game, and it's a good game, too. We bought this at the beginning of the year. Yeah. And we just... I, I one, heard... we couldn't keep it out because of the kids, and it takes uh-huh. a lot of room, so we just now set up a pl- different place for Hero Quest. And it was yeah. it's too much with kids. Like, you can't... Because it's so much more complicated than Hero Quest. Like, because yep. we can play, like, once every two weeks or something, so I forget the rules two weeks later because yeah. there's too many. So I was like, let's do yeah. Hero Quest now. Then when they're older, we'll have time to play Gloomhaven again because it seems like yeah. a really good game when we were playing. Yeah, but, I've heard nothing but good things about Gloomhaven. You can play it online. Yeah, it won't be the same. Um, We have a game called uh, Tainted Grail. Oh, we've played a few times, but like same problem is like the setup takes forever, and we yeah. haven't played it in a while, so like we haven't gone back to it because like we'll have to set it all back up. Yeah, exactly. If I could just leave the we setup the there rules. for Gloomhaven, 
it'd be fine. Yeah. But you can't do that with kids anymore because they'll you go and screw with it. You can't just it. leave that shit out. Yeah, exactly. If you get one of those tables that are recessed, you could. Mm, no, yeah. If I can buy a $3 million home in the Bay Area, then I'd have enough room <laughs> to set up a table they like that. They make toppers. Oh, there's another. It's there's a cent- a, there's another downer, by the way, for our year. There's another reason what? it's a four. We were looking for a house, didn't get anything. You know, there's just nothing uh, available. Yeah. We were outbid. Nothing. We were outbid. I never wanted that home anyways, honestly. Damn. I don't want either of them. I was just like, fine, if you're desperate enough for it's it. It's just like, hey, this is what's left. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah. All so, right, yep, right. There's that. Fair enough. That's, that's the way the ebb and flow goes. Yep. All right, good podcast. Cool, good cool. end of the year. Yeah, the eighth running uh, end well, of the year. Hopefully, we'll be able to meet up sometime in maybe 2024, 2025, play some games and chill. Yeah, I was always going to show you that the pandemic happened, but the the board game I've lost. I can't even remember the rules to the board game that I created. I know. Yeah, I was waiting. But it was to really play. sweet. I tell you, the because it's like an escape room and there's puzzles. That you do while right. fighting monsters. I want to get back to one day Which to like a, creating uh, it. It's a great combination to make like an essentially a dungeon crawl, but focus it more on escape room. Make. Yeah, because like the miniatures were like the escape room like uh, props. Yeah, right. So it was exactly. really sweet. That's, I thought, which is cool. Yeah. So I well, st- I still I you, had saved off it, all Nicole the adventures. And I would love to play. Yeah, if we're ever you know if you ever back again, we'll do it. I'll try to Heck yeah. find it all and everything. All right. All right. Well, our, our goal is to travel more here in the next couple of years, so right. hopefully soon. Yeah, before you have kids, for sure. Exactly. Do that before <laughs> exactly you have the, our kids. thoughts. Yeah. Too. Very important. <laughs> all, all right. right. All right. Later. All right. Later, y'all.